Things have come a long way since these images of fire and destruction last summer. This is a town which is slowly healing. So, for the second time since the riots, Prince Charles and the Duchess of Cornwall were here to lend their support and bang the drum for Croydon. As well as the community groups, the steel bands, the dancers, they met the people whose businesses were damaged and those whose homes were totally destroyed, like Charlene Munro's. Last year, the Duchess of Cornwall sent her young son a replacement for the favourite toy lost in the fire. When I did get the chance to speak to her, it was nice because I got to tell her everything that was going on as well. She's lovely. She did say, you know, we'll see what we can do to try and help. Where are they from? Kent? East Sussex. East Sussex. Next stop, apple tasting at Surrey Street Market. <laughs> But it was at Croydon College that the real celebration was taking place. Excited students and staff lining the streets outside. Inside, the royal couple took part in some demonstrations. Make up for the Duchess, crepe Suzette for the Prince. But this visit is all about the serious work of recovery. The Prince's Trust, as well as two of his other charities, are working on the ground in Croydon to help businesses and individuals move onwards and upwards. This key participant, once a rioter, now a trainee journalist. I believe that if I didn't go to prison and I didn't do what I did, then I wouldn't be what I'm here now doing what I'm doing today, which is working for the magazine and also working in the study support centre as a mentor with young children. This Sunday, the area will be hosting its first carnival of cultures to bring the community together. Croydon, it seems, can afford to celebrate that. Alice Bandukravi, BBC London News.